Just over 4,000 Californians are hospitalized with COVID tonight. That is the highest number since February when we were coming out of the Omicron surge. But for some perspective, which is important, it's still far below the peaks we hit the past two Januaries. The state's test positivity rate average nearing 17 percent. The all-time high was 22.5 percent back in January. And as KPIX 5's Andrea DeCano reports, a new variant driving a surge in India is now turning up in the Bay Area. The new variant is BA 2.75. The World Health Organization is saying that this is a variant of concern as variants are getting more contagious. The most common variant in the Bay Area right now is BA.5, but a new challenger has already arrived. BA2.75 may be more contagious, but UCSF infectious disease specialist Peter Chin Hong is hoping the vaccine still protects against serious illness. The silver lining, um, you know, it probably is going to perform the same way uh, in terms of if you're vaccinated and boosted, your inside immune cells, your memory, B cells and T cells will kick the enemy out, even if the front guards have cataracts on their eyes. Even before the arrival of the latest subvariant, Dr. Chin Hong says at UCSF, hospitalizations over the last month have seesaw between the low to high 40s. Hospitalizations, I said it was stable, but it's stable bad. You know, it's stable like in a place we don't want it to be. Dr. Dean Winslow, a professor of medicine at Stanford University, says in his 50-year career, he hasn't seen a virus mutate this robustly. What it's leading to is a scramble by vaccine producers to develop a new vaccine, not only to help reduce illness, but also prevent the spread of the disease. And it all starts with the sequencing of new variants. What it does is that it lets us know the sequence of, uh, you know, particularly the, the, the spike protein, you know, which binds to the receptor. Um, but uh, also, uh, we do sequence to a large extent, you know, different parts of the virus as well that may also be important in the immune response. The problem is a virus hasn't stopped mutating yet, and there are no indications that it will anytime soon. The virus has been almost quicker than we are. Um, as I said, you know, you can't really spool up vaccine production, you know, in just a couple of weeks. You know, it takes uh, quite a while uh, to actually uh, spool up vaccine production for some of these newer variants. Andrea Nakano, KPIX 5.